I had a lot of people who said to me after they saw the play, people who are not black, who said, boy, I just really understood that nightmare, every parent's nightmare of waking up in the middle of the night and not knowing where your teenager is. That is a universal experience for all parents of adolescents. Well, I play a woman named Kendra Ellis Connor, and um, I'm a mom of an 18-year-old boy, and I am recently separated from my white husband. And the whole film takes place in 90 minutes real time in the lobby of a police precinct because we are desperately looking for our 18-year-old son who has just gone missing and we can't find him. I feel like the most important idea that's being covered in this material, in this play, now film, is, um, is our ability to really see each other and hear each other. Uh, and I feel like that's so important right now because I think a lot of us, when we hear somebody express an idea that's different from our own in this political environment, we shut them out. Like we turn the channel or we walk out of the room or we refuse to engage. And I feel like right now more than ever we really need to be listening to each other and really hearing each other. And that's what the play is. I feel like the play and now television event is um, it's really a prayer that we all stop and just take a little bit of time to really listen to each other. Because you have four very different people with very different points of view saying things that we may say in private, but we're not really saying in public spaces, and we hear them. And I think in the hearing them, what I found from audiences is that we find ourselves having commonalities with characters that we didn't think we would have commonalities, commonalities with. Um, and I think that's profound. I was a producer for the play and now for the film for Netflix. And um, when I saw our first cut of American Son at the Editor's Bay, I immediately turned to our director and said, how did we do this eight times a week? Like, I can barely watch this. <laughs> like, and, and I think it's so captivating to see this couple in this really intense night of their lives um, but to live it again and again really took a toll on all of us, I think. When I wasn't on set, I was hanging out with my kids and my husband, and I feel like in many ways the play and the film, it, it was like the experience of dropping myself into one woman's nightmare. And so when I would come out of that nightmare, I really, really was in the joy of my own life.